Tonight we have a treat. This is the second largest multi-tool in my collection. This comes in at a whopping 10 inches long. So this is a vice grip multi-tool. The largest multi-tool in my collection is actually the next tool shovel axe combo that I reviewed several months ago. And you can always check out my videos under the video tab. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the multi-tools that sort of led up to, I would assume, this design. So several years ago, Leatherman and Kershaw and even Gerber came out with a Gerber grappler. Now that is crazy expensive, three to $400. I do not have one of those. But the Leatherman Crunch, you can actually still buy. I believe this may have been one of Tim Leatherman's last designs. And it is a very good design. The head, you can stow this away and then it packs up very compact. And then you go ahead and it snaps back into place. I've done a full video on all these tools right here, so I won't go into everything, but you've got wire cutters. And then in this handle, you have got the file, the knife, and you have several screwdrivers and so forth. And then you can put some quarter inch bits when you take out the screw in the bottom of this tool. Now this goes for about 100 to 130. So this is a great tool. A couple months ago, there was a scare that would no longer be available. So I would definitely grab your Leatherman Crunch before it permanently goes away. Now the next tool is actually on Amazon still to this day, as is the Leatherman Crunch, I believe. I think it's on Amazon. And this is the Irwin Vice Grip. Now, this is a very cheap version. It's got a knife, it has a bit driver. It's around the $25 mark. And in my opinion, I, I don't think I'd do it because I feel like the knife, it opens up the wrong way. And I feel like you're just better off with like a Gerber arm bar plus a pair of vice grips. But some people still like it. And it is neat to have in the collection. There is this version of pliers and also the needle nose version of pliers as well. Now this is the Sheffield Crocodile, which it's also a copy of the Kershaw A100. And there were a couple different versions, even I believe of the, let's see, I have the lock on here, of the Sheffield, several different versions came out and you have the knife, file, some screwdrivers, can opener, and a bottle opener as well. So this is a very compact tool as well as a Leatherman Crunch. It doesn't fold up as short because the jaws don't fold up, but it is a pretty neat tool as well. I would like to get the Kershaw. I feel like it's a lot better made than the Sheffield copy, but it is neat even to have this copy today. All right, so let's put these out of the picture and bring back in this gigantic multi-tool. And I want to talk about a couple of the features. So obviously this is a vice grip, and so it does lock into place, which is neat. It's very large. It, it is vice grip, and it doesn't feel extremely solid, or when you look at the metal, I'm not sure it's extremely well made, but... I mean, it is a pair of vice grips, so they do wiggle some. Now let's look at the multi-tool function capability. So you have four tools and it's actually a tiny bit nicer than I thought. So let's go ahead and close this up. <clears throat> and what we have is actually a locking knife. So that's pretty neat. Uh, even on these Chinese multi-tools, a lot of times you don't always have that. For example, not only is it a locking knife, but the, ser uh, the uh, serrated knife is slip joint as well, which I like. Now, the other two tools we find are the Phillips screwdriver and then the bottle cap lifter and the flathead screwdriver. So you only have four tools, but you have a gigantic, huge multi-tool. Now, this is the only information I got that came with it. So you see this 10-inch multi-function locking pliers. Supposedly, it was sold at Tractor Supply, though I can't find any more information about it. 
it seems like it's long gone and there's only a couple of these left on eBay, probably about four. So when this video releases, they may be bought up pretty quick because some people enjoy adding these unusual multi-tools to their collection. Just thought I'd bring this to your attention. I'm glad that I have this in my collection. Will I use it? Probably not much, but it's definitely a conversation starter. I'll see you in the next video.